Our top story now, it's the ninth day today since an under, under construction tunnel collapsed in Uttarkash in Uttarakhand, trapping 41 men. Authorities are now working on a five-point action plan with different agencies working on different efforts and aspects at the tunnel. Officials are trying to also dig, a, drill a vertical hole from the top of the t- a hill today uh, under which the workers have been trapped. But the workers' prolonged confinement within the tunnel is raising concerns about their health and well-being. Let's go across to NDTV's Ghazali, who is uh, there at the tunnel site. And Ghazali, if you can tell us uh, this uh, this plan to drill from the top has not happened yet. A machine still has to arrive there. And tell us more about this five-point five, uh, uh, five point action plan that's uh, now been put in place. See, as far as the five-point pl- action plan is concerned, before moving to that, we'll just try to explain that what is happening behind me. That is the opening of the Silkyara Tunnel. And uh, the earlier plan was to horizontally create tunnels or parallel tunnels on its right, on its left, from the top and also from the other end of the tunnel but none of that has started yet because the auger machine which everybody is talking about has not yet arrived and that is exactly why the relatives of those laborers who are stranded inside the tunnel are getting anxious every day even just a short while ago some of the relatives had gathered here saying that we can't see any new machine outside near the tunnel near the opening of the tunnel which would be working here to sort of bring the laborers out of this tunnel but what the agencies and multiple agencies have been roped in here uh, and what they have done till now uh, is that they have also drilling inside the tunnel to create another food pipe so earlier through the food pipe some dry uh, food was being sent towards the laborers like uh, uh, dry gram, dry chana or peanuts and all but per- since it's been nine days uh, the authorities have decided to create or to send another f- pipe through which different food items will be sent to the laborers inside. Now the five point action plan which everybody is talking about even uh, Mr. Nitin Gatkari and the senior officials of his department were here who said that uh, different agencies like oil and natural gas corporations, Satla Jal Vidyut Nigam Rail Vikas Nigam, National Highways and Infrastructure Development Corporation Limited, the Terry Hydro Development Corporation Limited have been assigned the responsibilities. Now, why these agencies have been assigned these responsibilities? Because they have an expertise in drilling and constructing tunnels in the hilly terrain. Uh, but as of now, the update is that till yesterday there was no fresh drilling which was happening due to the uh, non-availability of machine or we won't say non-availability but since the machines have not arrived here because bringing heavy machines or earth movers in this particular terrain if I'll ask my camera person to show you that uh, earlier uh, they were trying to create and make a ramp on the top of the tunnel if you see it right on the top of the tunnel from where the drilling would happen but uh, the ramp has been constructed but the machine has not arrived yet so all these heavy machines you see right outside the tunnel near the entrance of the tunnels are there machines are getting in for drilling and all but the auger machine which everybody is talking about which will come and make some effective change in the situation has not arrived yet so uh, they, they're all waiting for that auger machine to start the drilling as of now just one drilling is happening which is for the uh, supply of the food pipe or to send the food pipe inside with a bigger diameter because earlier the food pipe which was being sent was uh, through food pipe the dry food items were being sent now perhaps they know that it's been eight to nine days and more food needs to be sent to the laborers there so a bigger food pipe with a bigger diameter uh, will be uh, is being drilled inside uh, from the from the opening side of the tunnel all right ghazali thanks so much for joining us uh, with the latest there so that is the plan for the ninth day that these men have been stuck and uh, as ghazali was telling us food being sent through the food pipe also medication we believe antidepressants also being sent to them and now a five point action plan now yesterday chief minister uh, dhami visited the collapse site along with union minister nitin gadkari and they took stock of the rescue operations let's just listen into what uh, minister gadkari had to say पिछले सात आठ दिनों से इस आपदी का मुकाबला हम सब लोग सब प्रकार के प्रयासों से कर रहे हैं जो अंदर में जो लोग बैठे हुए हैं जो अटके हुए हैं उनके प्रति भारत सरकार को उत्तराखंड की सरकार को और देश की जनता को उनकी सबकी बहुत चिंता है 
और हमारी सर्वोच्च प्राथमिकता है कि किसी भी प्रकार से उनकी जान बचाए उनको बाहर निकाले आज करीब डेढ़ दो डेढ़ घंटे दो घंटे मैंने हम लोग सभी कंसर्निंग ऑफिसर जो यहाँ काम कर रहे हैं उनके साथ सभी प्रयासों के बारे में टेक्निकल चर्चा हुई and uh, one of the uh, bureaucrats there also explained how food and water is being sent into the tunnel to the trapped workers listen in ye jo hamari 4 inch ki pipeline hai uske alawa unki life secure karne ke liye saman aur khane ka behtar dhang se bhejne ke liye yahi par ek 6 inch ka pipeline jiski ki local machines available hain us pe kaam shuru kar diya hai par is pahad ke upar jaane ke liye sadak banani padegi पहाड़ के ऊपर जाने के लिए सड़क बनानी पड़ेगी सड़क बनाने का काम बी आर कर रहे हैं कल ही जब यह सवेरे फैसला हुआ शाम तक बी ने इस पॉइंट तक पहुंचने के लिए 50 परसेंट के करीब सड़क रात रात में पूरी कर दी है उम्मीद है आज शाम तक उनकी सड़क बन जाएगी उसके बाद ये जो लाइफ लाइन के एडिशनल सपोर्ट के लिए वो काम हम लोग शुरू कर पाएंगे इसके बाद ये जो इसका टनल का लेफ्ट हैंड है वहां से एक हॉरिजोंटल बोर करने के लिए आर को काम कहा गया और ये लाइफलाइन सपोर्ट का काम आरबीएनएल कर रहे हैं ऊपर All right we will continue to track those rescue operations with moving on to news now from Visakhapatnam where a massive fire broke out at a fishing harbor there and about 23 fishing boats at least turned to ashes in this fire that broke out last night the estimated loss in this shocking incident is around 30 crore a fisherman suspect criminals set boats on fire there's also suspicion that it could have been triggered by a party in a boat now shocking visuals as you can see there the massive fire a show fire fighters trying to die. how's the flames as fishermen stare on helplessly uh, the blast in some of the boats apparently caused by the fire reaching fuel tanks also led to panic in the area ee roju ratri 11:00 gantla samayamlone ee fishing harbor jetty degra ee fishing boats fire out nan information ichina vaadu vantane control room alert chesi andarni ma police officer adhe vidhanga aa fire tenders nu kuda immediately ga pilipincham ఇప్పుడు ఇక్కడికి వచ్చి చూస్తే ఇక్కడ సుమారు ఒక అంటే ఇంకా ఎస్టిమేషన్ చేస్తున్నా తెలియదు ఏంటంటే సుమారు ఒక ఇరవై ఐదు వరకు బోట్లు కంటిన్యూగా ఫైర్ అవుతున్నాయి అందులో మీ దగ్గర గ్యాస్ సిలిండర్లు అయ్యి ఫిషర్మన్ వన్ ఫిఫ్టీ దానికి పెట్టుకోవడం వల్ల అప్పుడప్పుడు అవి బ్లాక్ కూడా జరుగుతున్నాయి కాబట్టి ముందు మనం ఇక్కడ రాగానే ఎవాక్యుయేషన్ అనేది చేయించాం దగ్గరలో ఎవరు కూడా మరి ఫైర్కి దగ్గరికి అంటే సిలిండర్స్ బ్లాక్ అవ్వడం వల్ల ఎవరికి ప్రమాదం జరగకుండా పబ్లిక్ని అందరినీ అవాక్యుయేట్ చేసి ఫైర్ టెండర్స్ని అట్లీ కూడా ఫెసిలిటేట్ చేస్తున్నాం ఇంకా అదర్ ఫైర్ వింగ్స్ కూడా చెప్తున్నాం నేవీ కానీ లేదా కోర్ట్ గార్డ్స్ కానీ కోర్ట్ విశాఖపట్నం కోర్ట్ వాళ్ళ ఫైర్ వింగ్స్ వాళ్ళు కూడా ఇన్ఫార్మ్ చేస్తాం ఇంకా నెంబర్ ఆఫ్ ఫైర్ ఇంజిన్స్ ఎక్కువ తీసుకొచ్చి ఈ ఫైర్ కంట్రోల్ చేయడానికి ట్రై చేస్తాం Let's go across to Uma Sudhir now who joins us on the phone line and Uma massive fire and uh, they still uh, you know there's going to be a probe to figure out what exactly started this but so much livelihood lost Yes indeed what we understand uh, from the uh, fishing harbor officials is that uh, if there are two rows of boats there could be as many as uh, 60 boats that could have got gutted as of now uh, the police have confirmed that uh, they uh, suspect that about 25 boats have uh, been uh, gutted in the fire like the dcp mr anand reddy uh, from uh, visakhapatnam was mentioning uh, the uh, uh, the fire may have been caused uh, because of some kind of uh, uh you know party or a social gathering that happened on the on the uh, uh, on the boats itself and yes there was diesel in the fuel tanks and also uh, cylinders which are usually carried uh, for cooking purposes on the boats and that was causing a uh, blast every now and then only uh, uh, silver lining i must say is that as of now no loss of life has been reported so they were possibly successful in getting uh, the people to move away from the area so that uh, we are not hearing of any reports of uh, uh, serious injury or uh, death in this particular accident but as of now the fire has been brought under control All right uh, Uma thanks so much for joining us uh, with that so 30 crore estimated losses due to this fire which could have been caused by some kind of a party or gathering in that area
News now from uh, Manipur and uh, very curious news, uh, the controlled airspace at the International Airport in Manipur's uh, capital Imphal uh, was closed for commercial flight operations for nearly three hours yesterday after an unidentified flying object uh, was seen, a UFO. Uh, the object was visible from the terrace of the ATC tower and people on the ground including airline and CISF personnel also saw it. It was a white coloured object. Uh, it flew over the terminal building, moved uh, southwards above the ATC tower and remained stationary there for some time. It was at around 3.55 p.m. The Eastern Air Command began scanning the Imphal airspace for threats till 5.35 p.m. There you can see uh, visuals from inside the airport uh, as well. Subsequently, the Eastern Command in Shillong allowed Imphal airport to resume normal operations, but uh, the probe will continue. Now moving on to news of the hijacking of a cargo ship. This, according to the IDF, was done by the Houthis near Yemen in the southern Red Sea and is a very grave incident of global consequence, is what the IDF has said. Uh, the ship departed uh, Turkey on its way to India, staffed by civilians of various nationalities, not including Israelis. It is not an Israeli ship. Now, Israel also published a video on Sunday of what it described as a tunnel dug by Palestinian operators under the Gaza Strip's biggest hospital, a focus of its search and destroy missions against Hamas in a war now in its seventh week. While acknowledging that it was a network, it has a network of hundreds of kilometers of secret tunnels, bunkers and access shafts through the Palestinian enclave, Hamas has denied that these are located in the civilian infrastructure like hospitals uh, and uh, though it, this tunnel leads to a gate, a sort of a iron a gate, the, the video doesn't show where that goes on to. Now the Israeli military also released footage of what it says shows hostages being taken into Gaza's largest hospital after the Hamas attack on 7th of October. Uh, there you can see those visuals there and uh, this was uh, visuals of earlier. Uh, responding to this video released by Israel, the Hamas run health ministry in Gaza has said it's not able to confirm the authenticity of the video. Uh, the Hamas run health ministry says the death toll in Gaza since, uh, the, uh, since this uh, war began has reached 12,300 uh, and thousands of people are feared buried under the rubble. With that time for us to slip into a short break, more news coming up on the other side. Stay with us. Welcome back. Now, some developments on deep fakes and artificial intelligence influence digital media. The government could soon meet social media companies to discuss how the spread of deep fakes can be checked. IT Minister Ashwini Vaishnav clarified that the safe harbor immunity that social media companies enjoy under the IT Act will not apply if the platforms do not take necessary steps to take down deep fakes that are misleading and dangerous. The IT Ministry had recently sent advisories to intermediaries uh, reiterating IT Act and penal that penalizes impersonation. Uh, companies have responded, but they have to be much more proactive, is what ministry officials say. Uh, this after the latest deep fake that we've seen several actors involved uh, and, and uh, targets of deep fakes, including actor Kaj. Now some entertainment news and if you're a fan of the Hunger Games trilogy then you're in for a treat this weekend as the Hunger Games a prequel, uh, the ballad of songbirds and snakes has hit theatres, in fact it hit theatres uh, this, uh, this weekend. We spoke to some of the actors from the film, take a look. Welcome to NTV, guys. Uh, first, congratulations. I have watched the film and I loved you guys. I oh, love you. Thank you so much. Um, okay, let's start with Rachel. Rachel, did you say no to this film? What? <laughs> I, I did initially say no. It was such an honor to be Francis's first choice to play Lucy Gray. And when uh, we were initially having a meeting about maybe me being in the movie, he told me that it was going to be 
a long time away from home. And so I really need to take a long time to think about that because I had not been so far away from home for so long before. And, and I was a bit uh, apprehensive about it, but uh, I have, I came around eventually and I'm really glad that I did because now I get to be here. Yeah, me too. Yeah. Yay. <laughs> Tom, what about you? How did this movie come to you? Um, I went through a pretty traditional audition process. Um, and I, I, God, audition maybe like in total six times. Wow. I don't know. It was a lot. Wow. Yeah. Um, they put me through the ringer a little bit. Um, and then eventually got to a point where I was doing chemistry tests um, with potential Lucy Grays and the the last of which was Rachel. Um, once she, <laughs> Came once, back she once we mix. coaxed her back into the mix, um, and I was I was like just blown away by her immediately. And that was when I knew it was going to work. I was like, as long as Rachel says yes to this, this is going to be great. <laughs> um, everyone else was amazing too, but we just kind of found kind of an instant uh, kind of ease in chemistry. I think that we've been surfing on ever since right in that <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and uh have you guys read the book oh yeah yeah, yeah. i've, I've, read, this I've read this yeah. book three times i read it when it came yeah. out and then yeah three times when it came out and then twice while we were shooting yeah, yeah. I, read, I read it twice once while i was auditioning and then once kind of while we were working on it to, mm-hmm. to keep mining it for more information exactly um but yeah i'm a big fan of this book and actually had been a big fan of the movies originally um, when I was younger and saw them all as they were coming out and hadn't read the books. So I'm now going back to, to, to read the rest of them. Now that it won't like infect my, my Corey Lennis brain with the, <laughs> with the other stuff, um, I'm going to go back and read it with fresh eyes. Um, you know, we have seen such big actors, stars. They are now stars playing, um, you know, characters in Hunger Games. Was it too much of a pressure for both of you? I, I feel like Francis, our director, really did a good job at making sure we didn't feel such pressure stepping into these roles. And um, the, the material is just so good that you're not even thinking about mm. that part of things. It's really, at least for me, it wasn't connected to anything yeah. in the original trilogy. So I I felt like I was at ease most of the time about stepping into my character. Yeah, I think we weirdly didn't feel like we were continuing something that somebody else has started. Mm. It felt like a fresh start a little bit. Um, and that's because it's a prequel. It, it happened 64 years before. So we kind of, in a weird way, had creative freedom to make it our own. Um, because like the Coriolanus that I play, is it, it happens before the Coriolanus that, that Donald plays. Mm. Um, and I'm, although I'm sure Donald Sutherland like filled in the gaps in the history himself, um, I have the luxury of having a book that Suzanne Collins wrote, which is all the history there right in front of me. Um, and so for me, it's all about the book. I take it back to the book every time I'm lost or confused um, about where to go next with him. Uh, and yeah, I think we, we, we're in good hands with the writing. I love every scene you guys come together in. I, it's, it's magic. Uh, my last question is, I'm from India. Have you guys watched any Indian films? I've seen Ooh. RRR. Oh, you did? I love RRR. I've seen it. Yeah, I really want to I've see seen it. it three times. Really? And it's like three yeah, hours long. Did you watch it? You are reading books three times, watching three times. I know. Three. Everything. I have to do everything, everything thrice. Threes, yeah. yeah. I have to do everything thrice. But I, my boyfriend and I love <laughs> RRR so much. Yeah, I really want to see it. I'm not yeah. It, it was one of those things where we were like, okay, we'll start it. And then we had a dinner reservation. We watched for the first time while we were working on this oh, really? film. And I was like, I, I we have to we have to even you know if, reservation. i just interviewed uh, hunter and joshua they also said uh, josh and they said the same thing josh was like i loved the film like yes no yeah yes the tiger one recently on netflix that was really um white tiger Woo. white tiger yes. that's it right yes, that's, that's yes oh yes. my god yes. that was that was the most recent one i've seen and and it was brilliant so so Just good. I feel like films. India is making some really cool films. Bollywood, always, Bollywood always, Bollywood always Bollywood. films. I know you always have. Always. You always have. Unfortunately, we're catching up with it right now. As like, a musical like, theater yeah. kid, those Bollywood, big Bollywood musicals have always really I been mean, a part of the zeitgeist of the yeah. choreography conversation yeah, yeah. and the big beautiful dance numbers. It's just gorgeous. Yeah, so cool. Thank you so much, guys. Thank you Thank for talking you. to Thank us. You. Thank you so much. Bye. 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 You know, Hunger Games is something that everybody from no matter where you live in which part of the world everybody's a fan and here you guys uh here you are and talking about it congratulations first yeah thank you um let's start with you uh hunter uh first let me talk about that dress that you were wearing at the premiere <gasps> thank you thank did they just pay 
nature of one body or what was it? It was amazing. It was it was amazing. Um, I had had my eye on that dress for for this um like press run um because uh, I, I don't know it reminded me of something like that tigers could make because it's it's essentially paint chips that are attached to a crochet wow. dress and it reminds me of the sort of like resourcefulness that she might use to uh to like make something for her a choreo okay let's come to your character i i have watched the film and i really really liked it uh, my favorite part about uh, your character was the last part when uh, he, uh, Snow comes and asks you how you're lo uh, how am I looking and you have this uh, look on your face where you look just like your father. You know when you're very disappointed and it shows you don't have to say much. Your eyes just talks. Mm -hmm. um, tell me first, uh, what was the audition of the film like and when it came to you, what was your reaction? Yeah, um, I, I, I don't know. It happened pretty fast. I didn't know that they were, that the, that the movie was happening. Um, uh, so, um, it was, it, it sort of came by, came by surprise, but it's, it's like kind of something that I could not, uh, pass up or mess up because of like my deep love for it when I was a kid. Um, it was like one of my favorite book series. Um, and, uh, um, yeah, I feel like my my little self would be losing her mind right now, um, which is that's always a good like feeling when your career like may, turns into that direction, you know. So both of you have uh, have read the book. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Ah, that was oh, amazing. Not, I hadn't read this book okay. before. I okay, this one. Yeah. Oh yeah, I I also read it after I got cast. Mm -hmm. Um. But, uh, yeah, I mean, I have kind of a similar tie-in. It's crazy when that, you know, this industry kind of takes you full circle to the stuff that you liked when you were a kid, mm -hmm, you know? Mm -hmm. It's it's really it's really bizarre that we get to be that fortunate. It's, it's wild. Yeah. Uh, Josh, tell me about your story. Uh, you have been killing it. Uh, West Side Story and now uh, Hunger Games. Whoa, I mean, amazing. Uh, tell us all about this uh, film audition and when it came to you, what was your reaction and did it take... Any any second to say yes? Um, no, it didn't take any moment. I, Not I, as I didn't much. Spend a lot of time thinking on it. Uh, I mean, I I was I was really really fortunate. You know what can I say? I got the audition request. And at first, I was kind of like, well, I'm not going to get this. You know, I that's sort of uh, I had this mentality, and I'm like, well, this is so huge. There's you know, there's no way. But obviously, you know, I submitted the tape and then I got a call back and I was like, OK, well, you know, maybe they can see me and maybe they'll like me for something different. And they put me in that, you know, then I do the call back. And then a couple of days later, they call and they're like, hey, so they want to offer you the part. And I'm like, are you sure? Are you sure? <laughs> no, that, that can't. They can't mean that. You know, it's it's probably terrible to be that pessimistic. But I mean, that's just like. I could. I really couldn't believe it. Not in a thousand years did I think I'd, I'd be in this seat talking to you about this wonderful movie. It's and here you are. Yeah, and, and here we I are. Mean, it's crazy. Amazing, amazing character. Um, lastly, both of you, I want to ask you: Do you guys watch Indian films? How have you ever watched Indian films? I just watched R R R. Wait, I watched what? R R R. What? But what was the question? Have you watched Indian films? Oh, I haven't seen any. No. I, R, 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 that's like my and what do you think about it, Josh? Oh my gosh, it's so good. I love, you know, oh, what is that movie? It's like three hours and 40 minutes long. It's so, it's so long. And I sat down to watch it and I was like, well, maybe I'll do like 30 minutes here and there. And I sat through the whole thing like this the entire time. And the music, there's like musical numbers in it. I don't wow. know how to explain it. It's so good. Okay, I have to watch this. <laughs> yeah. You have to go and watch it, and next time you watch it, I'm going to ask you which one you watched, okay? Okay. Okay. <laughs> Thank you, guys. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Nice to meet you. Bye. Bye.